Hello, hi, my name is Stephen Ball and in this video I'm going to be showing you an example of how you can add your own custom item when using a default item to produce a list using visual live bindings with FireMonkey. So here we have a list box that's been populated with some fish fact data showing us the fish species, the length in centimetres and an image and so we can click through some more. But also we may have on occasion on mobile um, a point where we want to offer a load more option. We may not want to list everything or we may be paging data from a remote server and at that point we may need to have a load more option. So here I've just done a simple example of adding one with a, an on a custom on click event. So let's look at how you can go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to build this from scratch very quickly. I'm going to take a FireMonkey mobile application, just a blank application here, and let's add in a list box. And I'm going to align this to client. And let's add in a client data set just to load in my fish facts data. And just for ease, I'm going to add the fields in here and let's bind visually. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this species name and put that as the item text and let's use the length in centimeters as the detail. We can use the graphic to go to the image and I'm going to use just, I'm going to link anything to the accessory so I can come over here and um, update the fill expression here. Uh, I'm just going to set that to one which gives us the um, the little chevron. Um, there's different items you can set to there, um, just different numbers. So, for example, two gives us the forward arrow and so on. So, let's just make the list box item uh, a default height of, let's use 50. And what we're going to do now is just find the item style. Um, so we have a, a default item style that we want to use and I'm just going to change this to be make this a bit bigger here so we can see um, I want to have a list box item with bottom detail so let's uh, just reactivate those we can now see there we've got our species name the bottom detail, the image and the on click so if we run this now, it's first off going to just compile and run it out to the simulator. We'll be able to see that we get our list, but it doesn't provide us anything customised within the list. Now, we could use group headers and group footers to group things together, but they come with a specific style, and um, I kind of want our own specific item here. Now you can go ahead and create your own t-list box item, um, but I'm going to actually just I'm just going to take the live bindings that we have here and find the fill control to fields. And on here there's a set of events, and the one that we're going to look at here is on field list. So this is going to fire as the list is filled. There's also an on filling list which you can call. But we're going to take the on field list, double click just to create an event here. And in here, we're just going to create an object um, which is going to be a T list box item. And let's just declare that. Uh, we're going to say object.text equals load more. and the object, we can put an, an on-click event here, um, load more data, which we'll go define in a second. And then we can just say listbox one dot add object. And we'll pass in the object there. So we now need to define load more data. Now, the on-click event is a procedure with a sender of two objects. So all we need to do here is have load more data which has a sender t object 
and that is a procedure. So Control Shift C to code complete, and then we can just do a quick test here to load more data. We can then go and obviously load more data. So there we are, we now have the option to go ahead and load more data. Now, obviously using a data set here, you'd normally have the data set set to page up already, but there are times, especially if you're using local data sets for caching, that you may not have all the data selected at that point. So this gives you a nice easy way to be able to use either SQLite or IBLite to do some local caching and also provide an option to go fetch more data at the point you need to.